Welcome guys, this is the third video tutorial of PLC automation with Select Flexis Rail PLC and this is Gagan from LiveLearnings.com. In this tutorial, we will discuss some of the basics of ladder logic programming and we will create a project in CellPro programming software. You can see some of the samples for input contacts and some of the samples for output devices. The application of this simple circuit is to turn on and off this relay coil. In the ladder logic programming, we will use the symbols to represent the inputs and outputs. To represent these electrical contacts and coils in ladder programming, we have some special symbols. This image is showing the contacts and coil symbols for ladder logic programming. The first symbol is for a coil or for an output. The second symbol is for a normally open contact and the third symbol is for normally closed contact. So this is one of the example for a ladder logic programming. You can consider it like a structure of a ladder. You have two sides left and right side and you can consider the instructions written between these two lines as a step of a ladder. That's why I think the name is ladder logic programming. Each line of the ladder logic program is known as a rung. To start writing the ladder logic programming, open the CellPro software, go to file, click on new and in this new project window, select the Flexis Rail series. I create a folder on desktop to save the project and the name of the project is test1. Click on next, click on card selection. You can see there is no card selected for these four slots. This card selection is very important. I will use the first card as 10DI, second card as 6AIV and last two cards as 8TO. So I have to configure these cards in the project settings. So first card is 10DI card, select the 10DI from the drop down menu. Second card is 6AIV card. Third card is 8TO and the fourth card is also 8TO. Click on finish and now you are ready to create a ladder logic program in Cell Pro. On the left top corner, we have some tools to create the ladder logic program. First tool is to insert the horizontal line. Select this tool to add this horizontal line. The third tool is to select the normally open contact. You can use zoom in and zoom out tools. So after this normally open contact, I will increase the length of horizontal line and then I will place a coil for output. In ladder logic programming, the addressing of the contact or coil is very important. You can see there is no address assigned to this contact or this coil. To assign an address, double click on the contact and make sure the scope of the variable must be global. You can see a list of variable to use with the NO contact. Take a look on these four addresses at the last. The addresses are DI0 to DI3. These four inputs are available on power supply card of the PLC. So for the PLC, the first card is power supply card and you can see four inputs are available on this card. Now consider this IN0 to IN9 inputs. These are for 10DI card which is inserted on slot 1. So this PS1 indicates the slot 1 for card 1. So total we have 14 inputs and I will not consider these inputs for this tutorial. I will discuss these inputs in some other tutorial. Suppose I want to use this first input of 10DI card. Select this and click OK. Now you can see this is the address of the first input of card 1. To assign the address to the coil, double click on the coil and make sure the scope of variable is global and click on the select variable drop down menu and you can see we have output addresses for slot number 3 and slot number 4. Because we insert two 8TO cards on slot number 3 and slot number 4. I will use this first output of slot 3, select this and click OK. Now you can see the address is assigned to the coil. You can also change the name of the contact or coil. Double click on the contact or coil, click on the edit variable and here you can write the name under the variable name tab. Now you can see the names change to start and load 1. 
Right now I am not connecting the PLC hardware to my laptop. That's why we have to use the offline simulator of the software to observe the output of the ladder logic. First go to compile and click on build project to compile the ladder logic. Now the compilation is completed successfully. Click OK. And to go to offline simulation you can click on this icon run offline simulation. Now the ladder logic is online with offline simulation because the PLC is not connected. The red color means the contact and coil both are off. Click on this icon to view IO status. I will consider all the inputs as a push button. To activate the input double click on the contact. You can see after double clicking on the contact the color changes to green and also the color for coil is changed to green and on the input output wizard you can see which input is active and corresponding to that input which output is active. This red line on the ladder logic program is a supply line and it will be a 24 volt signal. So when we double click on the contact it will provide a path of supply to the coil and the coil will get energized. Now this is a push button and by double clicking on it you are pressing it. You are holding it in on state. Now double click on it again to release the button. So when you again double click on the contact it will open the contact and also it will break the path for the supply towards the coil and the coil is de-energized. So this was a very simple ladder logic program to clear the concept that how we can place the symbols for inputs and outputs and how to assign the addresses. So in next video tutorials we will cover some more interesting topics related to the PLC automation. So thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe the channel.